What's going on everybody? It is the Goodish Gamer hanging out with you today in Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. I hope you got your nostalgia pants on because we is going back in time to Minecraft 1.7. Uh, point 10, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So there are 184 mods in this pack. and I'm so excited to jump into most of them. We're not going to get into all of them, but I, you know, most of them. There's so many good ones here. Feed the Beast Beyond and Infinity Evolved are hands down my two favorite mod packs of all time. And I'm just kind of looking for a place to build here. Where should we get started? So there's trees around here, so it's perfect. You can see our spawn was kind of way over there, but we're playing on Amplified too. And my gosh, it is amazing. The scenery in Amplified is crazy. You can see it all out over there. That's all like mountains and stuff. It is insane. We got a floating island? No way! So I guess right here is as good as any place to start. We got rubber trees and everything right off the bat. So it was actually quite difficult figuring out which mod pack to play because like I said, Infinity Evolved and Beyond are my favorite. They're both older packs, uh, but you know, they stand the test of time. And they're solid packs. So if we come up here, I think we can look. There's 184 of them. My favorites, we have Ender IO. Oh my gosh. Alloy Smelter. We got Generators, but then also this Reinforced Obsidian. You guys, we're going to do stuff with the Nether Star later on. We're going to farm Nether Stars to get all the awesome stuff. We got the Capacitors. We got the uh, Ender Chest, the tank, which we're going to pump lava through, as well as the pouch. Amazing, amazing stuff. And then the uh, power, too, is fantastic. Also, Draconic Evolution. This is like end game stuff right here but we will get into it the chest plate the whole draconic armor and the tools this right here it does anything you don't have to change a shovel to mine dirt and then back to an axe to mine trees and then back to a pickaxe to mine any kind of stone this thing does it all it is incredible plus not to mention you get uh creative speed flight as well as fire protection so you can swim in lava you, it's it's end game stuff. It is crazy. And then thermal foundation as well. We've got a little uh, furnace right here, pulverizer to make dust, and this guy right here, energetic infuser, which we're gonna use here um, probably in the next couple episodes. We're gonna get into the jetpack. Now there's different levels of jetpack. Okay, we're gonna start with the leadstone obs. It's only twenty five thousand RF. But that's a perfect place to start because it's not that difficult to make, and it gives us flight. For power, I'm an RF guy, so I typically stay away from the E. U machines, I think that's what they are. Yeah, I see two, Industrial Craft 2. I typically stay away from that. Not that I have like a real issue with it. I'm just, I prefer the RF as opposed to the EU. It's, I don't know, RF is just easier for me. It's simpler and that's just the kind of guy I am. I just like things simple. So right off the bat, we, you know, we're total noob status right now. Actually, let's go ahead and open these. I don't know if we get achievements for opening these or not. Open blocks, blocks different crafting stuff cool cool we got our tinkers oh learn to tinker we're gonna be getting into this probably in the next episode and a quest book click here to start we have quests oh i didn't know that i know we i know there's quests in uh, expert difficulty we can go through some quests that's, that's fine that actually might be kind of fun and the sun is uh it feels like the sun's going down but actually it's just behind the massive mountains here so so typically how I play through these mod packs is I'll get a totally noobs starter base online kind of right off the bat. And I never end a game or a series in the same base I started with. Uh, how, do you guys do the same? I always end up building some monstrosity that takes like minecart systems to travel through it. <laughs> in one in one playthrough in uh, I think it was actually this mod pack, Infinity Evolved, I did a tower from bedrock to build limit. That's like y level 250 i think yeah it was it was quite intense but how do you guys like to do it man it's getting it's getting super dark and we don't have any coal you guys are watching me just chop down trees in the dark how do you guys like to do it you guys like to build like the biggest things possible like go big or go home a large and in charge or do you like to do more of like the minimalist approach and have things more compact i, I feel like maybe in this series we're gonna do a little bit on the compact side we gotta get some wood right away because we need to start building stuff to keep away the bad guys er, in this series i think i'm going to keep it pretty minimalist or not minimalist but compact so we might be getting in a tower i don't know i don't know what do you guys think 
let me know. Put it down there. Put it in the down there. What you think um, we should do in this series. And then I'll make her happen. So right now I'm going to get the total noobs status base online. And then I will be our beast. And we're back. Look at this fantastic little place. <laughs> it's, it's nothing special, okay? But it's brand spanking new. And we got to put little slabs up here because anybody who knows Minecraft and mob spawning, you do half slabs. So that's what we got going up here. And I should probably finish off around here. That way we don't get any spawning on top of our roof. So clearly I don't know everything there is to know about Minecraft either. 12 might be enough. So you guys, I like to progress rather quickly in these mod packs just because there's so much content to get to. I know sometimes uh, people can get a little upset. Oh, that's not that's not enough at all. I know uh, I've had people get upset with me before because I've advanced too quickly, but all but, but I don't know. You, you know, what's what's too quick with a mod pack like this? It has 184 mods in it. There's so much stuff to get to, like the basic leadstone jetpack. That's like it's lead and some iron and I think four pieces of leather. So like, that's not advancing too quickly at all. What do you guys, what do you, how do you feel about that? Do you guys like to progress faster or take your sweet time and savor every little minute of it? I like to get stuff done, you know what I'm saying? And trust me, there's gonna be plenty to do here. Advancing into say, a uh, leadstone jetpack and like next episode, I don't think that's gonna be too fast at all because in between now and the next time you guys see me, I'm going to be mining but anyway i left this open right here because i feel like maybe at some point we're going to expand this base and we can take out this wall or put a door right here and put more stuff in a room back there i thought about putting a ladder here going onto a second floor but i don't know you know this is episode one you guys we are just getting started so with that being said i'm going to continue to mine all of this stuff and is there a bad guy oh yeah a creeper went off right there and dug me a hole fantastic so yeah, you guys, I'm going to continue gathering stuff so we can have an amazing series. Dudes and ladies, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I greatly appreciate you. We're just going to put everything away up here. It's just a short episode today, but it's okay. It's okay. It's the start of something big and fun. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I seriously appreciate you guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe. And then let me know if you're excited about this series. And we're going to do more of it. This terrain gen is insane. We're going to have to get a jetpack ASAP to explore all of this. So you guys, I will see you in the next one. This is the Goodish Gamer signing off. Goodbye.